Hey scalers, so in this video, I'm gonna show you six steps that you can follow to upload a CSV or a spreadsheet into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And as that CSV contains uh, company information, we're gonna see at the end how you can get the valid emails of your buyer persona working for those companies. So the six steps are super simple. Uh, number one is the benefits of uploading a CSV and who can do that. Second step is how should your CSV look like before the upload. Step three and four is the upload process and the matching process. Step five is how can you find the ideal leads working for the accounts that you uploaded into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And the last step is how can you scrape and enrich in just one click to leads and get their valid emails. So let's jump straight into it and I hope you're gonna enjoy that video. So before creating your CSV file with company names, website, and LinkedIn URLs, keep in mind that to follow and do that process, you need a LinkedIn Sales Navigator team account. So just a disclaimer. And the way I structure my uh, CSV is by using those three information. So company name, website, and LinkedIn URL. And I selected five companies. So Skedis, June, Pixel Rush, Ocean, and Hunter. So now we're gonna upload that file into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So let's download it. Let's go to Sales Nav. So for those who don't know what LinkedIn Sales Navigator is, it is the sales version of LinkedIn, which gives you a lot more information and filters to target your leads and companies that you would like to reach out to. And you also have the alerts part where you can find specific information about what people are doing on LinkedIn. Um, one element that is very important here for us is the accounts part here. So we're going to go directly into it. So here we are into the uh, account uh, feature in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And what we're going to do is, as you can see, we're going to have upload accounts. So upload accounts is going to help us to upload a CSV. Second disclaimer is you can see that that account is under uh, Marvic, which is not me. It's a colleague of mine, but he is the one with uh, a LinkedIn Sales Navigator uh, team um, account, and I'm not, <laughs> so that's why. So I'm gonna click on Upload Accounts. So as you can see, you can not exceed uh, CSV with more than uh, 1,000 uh, lines, and the file cannot be larger than uh, two, two, 20 megabytes. So you just have to uh, click on Continue for that. And then uh, we're going to upload the CSV that is just here that I downloaded. So let's put it here. And now we're going to do the matching. So account name is the company name. The LinkedIn company ID, we don't have it in the CSV. LinkedIn company URL is this one. Website is website. Country, we don't have it. City, neither. Street, no, 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 and no. So now we're gonna create a name for the account list. So we're gonna do test upload upload. You can also add a short description if you want, that is optional. And then we click on finish. And now as you can see it's uploading. So the CSV is now uploaded, as you can see, test upload. So we can see the five accounts and we're gonna check that our uh, companies that were in the CSV are here. So enter June, Ocean, Pixel Rush, and Scalist. Perfect. So now what we want to do is find the CEO of every single company that is part of our account list. So we're gonna go and click on lead filters to be able to access what we call a lead search. And first thing first 
is we're gonna retrieve the account list that we just created into a lead search. So for that, you just need to click on account list and we're gonna find the test upload uh, account list. So we're gonna include it. So now we're gonna see that we are gonna have 111 results because we have technically everyone from those five companies, which is not useful. But now we exclusively want the five CEOs. So one CEO per company. So we're gonna write CEO using booleans and chief executive officer. Perfect. Amazing. So now we see five results. So we had five companies. So we have the CEO of Ocean, CEO of Pixel Rush, CEO of Hunter, June, and Scalis. That's perfect. So you're gonna tell me, mm, that's great. Um, but now that I have the five CEOs of the companies that I wanted to target, how can I extract them out from LinkedIn Sales Navigator? So for that, you can use uh, scalelist.com, which is the number one uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator extractor. So you can create an account for free that will give you uh, 20 email credits and two phone uh, credits. And you also need for that to download the uh, Chrome extension, so the Scaleless Chrome extension, and that will help you on Zdon to have that wonderful blue export leads, export leads button. And once you have done those uh, two steps, you, you will be able to click on export leads and directly those five leads are gonna be scraped from LinkedIn Sales Navigator and then we're gonna look after their email addresses. So let's scale list do its job. So here we are into scale list. And as you can see, we can find the companies uh, that we uh, originally uploaded into, into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So Pixel Rush, June, and Ocean, and scale list. We got the names of the CEO and we also got their email addresses. So now what can be done if you want to push that data directly into, let's say, Lemlist or Smartlead, which are uh, cold email software, you can click on export CSV and click on export all leads. And now you're gonna be able to see what the data looks like once you have exported it into a CSV. So you can see that we have the LinkedIn profile URL, the Sales Navigator profile URL, as well as all the information related to the lead. So first name, last name, job title, company, industry, also the company size, the city. One thing that uh, also is visible is if the, um, the lead has a LinkedIn premium account. So N is for no, N, Y is for yes. You have the website, the email, and the email status. So in that case, all the emails are valid. So they won't go into spam or category. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any question, feel free to let them uh, in the comments and feel free to also subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed the video. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.